One thing about recovery that is very interesting is that, not very interesting, but kind of like, you know, might give you a little bit of hopeless feeling, is the odds of you staying sober to the day you die is really stacked against you. It really is. The odds of you even entering into a recovery program and staying are stacked against you. So if you're in recovery and you're going to a program and you're working on yourself, you're sort of head of the pack already, even just for entering, because a lot of people don't even make it into the doors of Alcoholics Anonymous or Smart Recovery or whatever program you're involved in. They don't even make it. They stay out there, they die young or whatever happens to them. They don't make it into recovery. They don't, and it's a shame, eh? It really is. So you getting into the doors of recovery and starting to work on yourself and quit drinking, you're ahead of the pack. But I'm gonna tell you something that's really interesting and it is also a fact, is that the longer you're sober, the longer you're working your program and you're actively working the steps or whatever program you're involved with, if you're actively doing that a day at a time and you're in program, your odds of staying sober are longer the longer you're in. So if you're in for a month, your odds of getting two months is way greater. If you're in for six months, you'll make it to a year. If you're in for five years, you'll make it to 10 years if you keep doing what you're doing, okay? And sobriety and recovery and all that kind of stuff is very difficult. And that's why a lot of us don't attempt it and a lot of us don't stay in it. We get discouraged, we get, we feel hopeless because of all this stuff you can only imagine happens. Only if you're an alcoholic, you know what I'm talking about. The craziness of early recovery and the craziness of long-term recovery can, can wear, really wear on us. But anything of value, anything that is worthwhile doing, it's not easy, it's not. Sobriety may feel one step forward and three steps backwards, but if you're sober, you are still moving forward. You are still doing that. You are still getting better in spite of yourself. As long as we're not drinking, in spite of ourselves, we are getting better, believe it or not. Keep going to your meetings, keep going to your therapy, do things for yourself to help you in your sobriety. And that'll boost the odds of you staying sober. And one day you'll wake up and you'll just say, wow, what's happened? Where the hell was I? I feel terrific. I feel terrific. You know, it, it's a miracle. It's a miracle that I'm even sober this many years. I've had a troubled, very troubled life before I came into sobriety, and I've had a hell of a time, but not much different than anybody else. Sobriety is possible. The success rate is low. Whatever reason, it is low. But you just entering into a program, you boosted your odds, and the longer you stay sober, the longer you'll be, believe it, or not, okay? I just wanted to let you know that. And if you're struggling with your sobriety and you're struggling, you're saying to yourself, I'm not getting anywhere, you know, I'm not getting anywhere in my sobriety. Well, you are, you are. You know the old saying, it took 10 years to walk in the forest. It's gonna take a little while to walk out of the forest. That's for sure. It's gonna take some time, but you know, it's really worth it. So that's it, folks. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe? Take another second and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it, okay? God bless and just remember, just remember, sobriety is freedom. Sobriety is freedom. It really is, okay? So uh, get to the meetings, help people. And by helping people, you'll help yourself. Ciao.